It's molten. It's lava. It's molten lava chocolate cake. Come on, y'all. It don't get no better than this. Let's go. Here we go. Thank you for tuning in live, cooking with the Browns. We cook what we like, how we like. Today we are doing dessert. So for those who are tuning in, I have a special treat for you. We are doing two desserts. We are prepping one and completing another. All right? So if you guys don't know, um, yesterday I talked to you guys about doing a bread pudding. So we're going to do the beginning for a bread pudding. That noise you hear is my oven right now that is um, preheated to 425 degrees 450 for you guys um, who do not have convection ovens all right so what do we have here are you gonna show what we have what you're trying to do go ahead and do what you're doing <laughs> never again never again production uh, here we go never ready never ready i am i am here we go I needed We're waiting here. Alright, so. Say hello to somebody. Hello, somebody. Who should I say hello to? Jerome, what's up? How you doing? Alright. Got it. Alright, are you are you finished now? You I'm ready done. to go? Are you sure I am. ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. Rocking and rolling. So what do we have here? We have uh six eggs, three egg yolks. Um, and then three four eggs. No, that was I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> So, um, you can use your egg whites. I'm using them tomorrow for pancakes. So you can use your egg whites to fluff up your pancakes. We have powdered sugar, uh, one and a half cups. We have a uh, half a cup of flour. You could do use uh, bleached or unbleached. You can also, uh, we have five ounces of chocolate. I have a mix of uh, dark chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate and milk chocolate. And then we have, I think this is eight or 10 like tablespoons of butter. No, what? It's like boomerang. No, it's not boomerang. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do now is pour this in here. Oh, well, actually, we're gonna wait on that, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the uh, microwave so that uh, we can get this melted and then we're gonna mix in our chocolate with it and go from there. You can stay there, stay there, stay there. You don't mean to no, follow you to no, the microwave? No, don't come but they may wanna see mm -hmm. you actually. Putting something in the microwave? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. I'm actually putting it in the microwave. So I'm doing it just, I want it to get hot. I don't want it necessarily bubbling. I just want it to get hot. And I'm going to let it cool down for a minute. Where are you running to? Where are you going? Don't nobody care about this stuff on the floor? <laughs> I'm trying to kick you. <laughs> Move the camera all the way. So what you want to do is, we're going to whip these right here up. All right, that's it. The color changes. There we go. That's it. Just whisk them. Get all those out. There we go. That whisk game is something vicious. All right. So if you guys know somebody who likes dessert, please share. Get them on here. Ask any questions you want. Be more than happy to answer anything, any questions you guys may have. Let's see what we got here. Butter needs to melt a little bit more. Put it on for another 30 seconds. Hopefully it don't start to popping. Um, and this right here is for our bread pudding. Um, so what I forgot is for my bread pudding, I like my bread pudding to rest overnight. So I'm gonna give you guys the beginning stages and then we'll go from there after that. See, it's popping. That's what I didn't want that fast. All right, so you're gonna say that it's pretty warm. All right, so now you're gonna throw the chocolate in here. And we're going to start stirring the chocolate up. Hopefully this will melt soon. If not, we'll throw in the, uh, the, um, what are we going to throw it? Microwave. For a little bit longer. Make sure it melts all the way down. That smells good. As you can see, it's starting to melt. My wife got her big head on mine. <laughs> she always want to mess around when I'm in this kitchen cooking. <laughs> all right, so... It's starting to melt, as you can see. It's not all the way melted yet. We may just throw it back in the uh, microwave a couple of seconds, 10 more seconds, just to get it melted all the way down. I think this has a lot to do with the fact that I'm using two types of chocolate. Again, 
So a lot of recipes that I'm doing with you guys, some I've done before, some I haven't. Some I'm just, I'm just working on from scratch. So the, another reason why I'm not doing the other recipe, right, is because people in my family, they scrapped the recipe because they said they didn't want no stinking bread pudding initially. So that's why I'm not doing bread pudding right now. So, um, but I did need to let it rest though um, because I have to mix everything up, let it sit, and then tomorrow, if you guys come on, I'll be baking it. And then when I'm baking it, what I'll also be doing is I will be um, doing the uh, sauce as well. The rum sauce. Don't sneeze over nothing in this kitchen. <laughs> Hold it. All right. So we're almost there. What you could have also done is double boiled it, of course. I'm taking the I'm taking the easy way. And I'm sure a lot of what I have that's still um unmelt that's still not melted is the semi-sweet, because semi-sweet will take longer to melt. I did semi-sweet milk chocolate. Um you can just do semi-sweet, you can just do dark chocolate. 65% um cacao um is what you can do. Um I do somewhere um around 48 percent in my semi-sweet and then milk chocolate of course it, it, it just it it's you know it's milk chocolate so all right i'm putting it back in for a little bit longer and then after that i'm gonna let it sit for a minute because hopefully it'll be good to go after that um i have my again i'm at 425 if you have a convection oven um if you don't 450 um all right so i'm gonna let that sit in there for a second just to continue to do its thing. We'll put this right here. So now what I'm gonna do is real simple. I'm gonna pour this in there. Should you should have went the other way with it because you can't see. Maybe you should have came over to the opposite side. Mm. Stop all rubbing all up on me. This is a family <laughs> show. Alright, so again, I'm gonna stir this up right here. Mix it in. My powdered sugar. Boom. All right. And this is gonna be a very unique cake. Chocolate cake. I know it's not what you guys are accustomed to seeing, right? As far as chocolate cake's concerned. You see that wrist action though? That wrist action is something vicious. You see, some of y'all got it, some of y'all, some of y'all don't. You gotta whip it. Whip it. There you go. All right. There we go. There. Got that. All right. And then. I was bringing. It are to you me. bringing it to me? All right. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right. All right. Okay, you got me. Mm -hmm. You looking everywhere else? You trying to look at the wrap <laughs> ten things at one time. There we go. Boom. All right, so we're gonna see how this how this how this works because this don't look like it's supposed to look like. Right All right, mm -hmm. it's close. And this is what happens on live. You gotta you gotta figure it out. And you gotta rock roll with the punches, and hopefully it it all works out in the end. So that's what we gonna do. We are gonna mix all this up and see how it comes out. Worst case scenario, it don't come out like I want it to. Best case scenario, it does. But that's what life is about. And that's what cooking is about. Cooking is about experimentation. Having no fear. Just going after it. All right, so it's mostly, I'm gonna say mostly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my, what should I add first? That's flour. Yeah, I'm gonna add my, I'm gonna add my flour and I'm gonna stir my flour up in there. All right. All right, stir my flour. I'm gonna stir this, finish stirring this right here real quick. There we go. Flour coming on in. All right, for the most part, I guess this is, yeah, most of it, 90% of it, has been melted, right? So I'm gonna take 90%. All right, so I'm gonna slowly, I, I don't wanna really whisk it heavily. I just really just wanna stir it in. That's all I really want to do is just stir it in. Right? Until it's incorporated. 
And this is just the flour. I just want to incorporate all the flour in here. I don't want to whisk it like I was whisking it before. Right? I just want to stir it in. As you see, it's incorporated. Oh, here we go. It's incorporated. I wish you'd mind your business. All right, here we go. She really want to be a star of the show. My wife, she really want to be a star of the show. All right, you are? Oh, excuse me. So, all right, so now we got all this in here. Chocolate is all the way in there. Boom, boom. Got that. I'm just going to stir that up. There we go. So it's all stirred up in here. Timer is set. We're gonna cook them for about nine minutes roughly, give or take a couple of minutes. Um, but nine minutes should be more than enough time. I am doing roughly um, eight to nine rim locks. So this is what I'm using right here. These are the rim locks I'm using. Ramekins, Ram why am I calling them rimlocks? I'm sorry. Ramekins that I'm using um, to put these in. So these are gonna be small cakes that I'm doing. Each individual can have their own cake, um, but they're gonna be delicious. They're gonna be delicious. So there we go. I think it's fully incorporated. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. All right, so then what we're gonna do is, oh, so I made my homemade pan release right so i could use some people may not know what that is uh, that's what i can tell so i also use this right here too it's a baking spray so basically i created my own baking spray let me know if you guys want the recipe for it i got you so now i'm just basically just gonna dab it roll it all in here on the sides and do it with each, each one of these right here and then we're going to go from there and then we're going to put it in the oven. And then I'll go from there and then show you guys what to do next. All right. And this is just to keep it from sticking so when it comes out, it's ready to go. You guys had a presentation and everything like that in this home. All right. So. All right. So if you guys have already eaten, which I hope you guys already have. Um, we're doing salads. We've been eating pretty heavy lately. So we're gonna do salads tonight. And then of course, what are we gonna do for dessert? Just like good old crazy folks, we're gonna eat cake. So what are you gonna do? All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do nine. And then if I need another one, I'll add it. But the recipe calls for eight, eight ounces, eight ounce rim lots. I don't hate, I don't have eight ounce rim lots. I have seven ounces. So I added the extra one just to make sure that we have enough space to put everything in. All right. So. All right. Boom, boom. That's it. All right. So now I got that done. So now I'm doing nothing. All right. So now I'm just scooping out. And I'll clean it up. So I think I'm gonna do probably about two scoops. Uh, it might rise to the top. We are gonna see. Again, we we this is it, our experimentation. Let me clean that one for you. We doing it as a family. I'm gonna clean them all up. I'll clean it right now. You clean it right now. Mm -hmm. It's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me help. So if the camera's off me. Um. She's not helping. She's eating the sides off the, off the thing. She's not helping me at all. So. This camera woman gonna need a new job. <laughs> She's gonna need a new job. It tastes really good. All right. All right. So now we're gonna do them all like this. And then what we're going to do is, here. we're going to see, here we go. I may need to add extra. I'm helping. No, you're not. You're eating. It's a difference. All right. All right. All right. So now, got them all in there. 
All right. All right, how it tastes? Delicious. All right. Just like I like it. Just like you like it. Mm hmm. Huh? All right. All right, so now I'm just trying to keep them all consistent so when I cook them, they'll be even all the way around. And I think I did just enough. Grant says he wants to see cooking with the Browns crab boil. Uh, tell him to bring the crabs and I'll boil. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna try and even them all out as much as I can. I think some of them are lower than others. I think that right there is kind of low. All right, so now that's as good as we gonna get. So we got enough. So let's see how it comes out. Let me grab a towel so I can wipe. I ate most of the stuff, so. All right, so now we got those. Wipe them all off. Did you wipe the other ones off? I did, with my finger. With your finger, great. That's excellent. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab the, oh, actually I'm gonna slide off over here. All right, it's two, four. Eight. It's eight. eight. All it's right, eight. so that's the number I was supposed to get, so interesting. So either I didn't do something right, or I did it right, and we're good to go. So I'm sticking these all on here. To clean this sink before you start filming. No, this is real life. You think we just keep clean sinks? <laughs> no, that's not the case. We ate. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in here for eight minutes. I think I'm gonna throw a little water in there just, just to keep it moist, a little warm water. Keep it moist. We'll see if it, if it helps. And we, we all experimenting together. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Oh. all right, I'm about to burn my hand. I'm not doing that. I'm not it all the way up. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw them right in there for eight minutes. Let's see what happens. Timer set, oh, nine minutes. All right, do nine minutes and see what happens. That's not me. Um, I love cooking, so let's see what we're looking like here. Oh, I may be in trouble because that look. <laughs> Oh no, it does. It does. All right, it just needs to cook a little longer. Okay. All right, y'all. See, this is live TV. Live TV. This is what happens. Look, I don't. Even, I don't be faking it. If look, this is what happens. I got two more minutes on here. Look, we got. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I ain't gonna front. If it don't. If it don't come out right, it don't come out right. If it don't come out right this time, y'all will see. Have seen me completely fail at doing these uh, cakes. And my wife is gonna laugh at me and gonna talk about me and she gonna never let me lay this down. But this is what this is what life to be is about. I ain't I didn't this ain't scripted. This ain't something I did before. I'm cooking with y'all. Because I want y'all to know that just because I am a chef doesn't mean that I don't fail. Right? So if if I do He fails a lot. See, she almost had to say like your mama watching. So Alright. So we got two minutes left to go. Does anybody have any questions that they want to ask me? Anything related to cooking. Um, we may be doing lasagna coming up soon too. Um, we'll see how that works out. Maybe tomorrow we'll do lasagna. We pushed it back because we I wanted to do a salad today. Um, so You were the only one that wanted to do a salad Well, today. that's what we're doing. When the chef says that's what we're doing, guess what? Everybody got to eat it because can't nobody else cook. That's the, <laughs> that's the beauty about being a chef in the house is that you're the only one that can cook, so everybody got to follow your lead. Sure. <laughs> Sherelle has a question. No, she don't. She does. What's the question? She wants to know if you need a taste tester. She always want to taste test something. She always <laughs> want to taste test something. Always want to taste test something. All right, so. Uh, another question. Mm -hmm. Grant wants to know, what's your favorite food, chef? I like Asian cuisine. Actually, I'm, I'm a cuisine person, so I like anything that's Asian cuisine. My favorite, my favorite dishes are Thai dishes, probably. I like, I, I like Thai food a lot. Um, it's a pro I like Indian food too, but Indian food for me or, or, or Middle Eastern food, it takes way too long. Um, for me, it takes way too long 
for it to, to finish up. So, um, all right, we're done. I'm going to pull them out. and We're, we're still doing Q&A. Okay, Questions are coming in. All right, let me hear. Let me hear. No, that's going to be a problem. Because it feels like it's set. But not all the way through. Need toothpick? No, because it's supposed to. So I think it was that water you put in it. No, no. So listen. So just so you guys know, right? So it's supposed to be a molten cake. So it's supposed to be a little loose in the middle, right? So this is not your traditional chocolate cake. It's supposed to be a molten cake. It was supposed to be a whole surprise reveal when I cut it. Y'all was like, "Ooh, it's molten cake." But I'm not sure well, how we this is gonna work out. So what's the other question? How do you remember all your recipes? Because I cook them. <laughs> no, no. I'm just messing around. No, I remember them just because. Um, yeah, I think they're done. Okay, I need to let them rest for a minute. Um, so, how do I remember all my recipes? I remember all my recipes just because I am consistently working on them and I'm consistently tweaking them. Um, so, I'm always. So, what I do is I create a baseline recipe. And from that baseline recipe, what I then do is I um, I begin to tweak it and I start annotating what I've tweaked. So I, I make it so many times that I end up creating the recipe that I feel like has the best um, flavor profile. Keenan is late to the party. Keenan is, is always late to the party. And he gonna say something rude. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be, don't, don't touch this with your hands like this, y'all. So why are you touching it with I your hands? Because I got a habit of touching hot stuff like this with my hands. All right, let me not do that. This little bitty baby mitt my wife <laughs> Now, who has a mitt this small? Look at this little Your kids mitt. gave you that. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Baby mix! <laughs> Baby mix! <laughs> and this is what I get from my life. <laughs> So now I know two things. It ain't done. The flavor is good. But it ain't done. So, one, I need to put them back in there for a couple more minutes. So, because y'all not going to see another one like this. So, I need to put them back in there for a couple of minutes. And then, I don't know what to tell y'all. So at least y'all got the bread pudding, right? I'm gonna take pictures of this right here because that's what's not gonna happen. But this is what life is. What can I say? Um, let me go ahead and put these back. Uh, where is the other pan? There it is. Okay, let me Love provides food for the soul and, and laughter.
should have done too, obviously, because my wife is dying over here. Uh, Shut up, Shredita. What'd she say? <laughs> Woo. All right. Y'all come back and y'all see us. Y'all see something better. <laughs> say good night. Good night. You're on. All right. I'm on. All right. Here we go. The finished product. So you saw the mishap. Good chef can always correct their mistakes. I didn't give it enough time or as much time as I should have given it to cook. Um, so I messed up there. So it, it was way more time than I should have. Uh, I mean, a lot less time than, than, than uh, the recipe initially called for. So I've adjusted and I've corrected it. Um, so again, I think Graham was asking me, how do I, or somebody asked me, how do I remember my recipe? So this is, this is, this is one of my steps. So I mess up or do something that I probably don't need to be doing or messed up on and I annotate it and I correct. So the initial process was, I think I had it on for nine minutes, ended up doing it for 10 more minutes or 20 minutes total, right? So now we have um, our finished product here. I look a whole lot better than what they did before. The color is right, everything's right. Woo! Now we're gonna turn them out and see what happens. I cut around it to see, to make sure that they'll come out. This one's hot. These little mini gloves again, this is what I gotta deal with. See? There we go. That's it. All right, so now we're going Bad lighting. Is bad lighting? It's okay. All right, can we slide over there? Got better lighting? Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna throw a little powdered sugar in here. Boom, like that for presentation purposes, right? So then we're gonna draw a little shebang. Look like something? Look like something, I guess, right? So got that done. Now we're gonna cut it open to see how it looks inside. Let's see if. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's it, you bunch of. Oh, yeah. That's the, what it do. So there we go. I redeemed myself. I have redeemed myself. Busted by three or four of them. So somebody ain't going to get no cake tonight. <laughs> <laughs> somebody ain't getting no cake tonight. So as you can see, it's molten inside. Let me go ahead. Hold on. Man. I'm going to take it to the next level. Here. Again, I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm going to eat this right here. So if y'all say, oh, he digging in it. That's right. I'm digging in my own. All right. So let me pull it a little, little ice cream right there. Boom, right there. That's to go with the moltenness right there. And got to taste it. Oh, yeah. You see that right there? Look at that. That's molten love right there. So I'm back. You bunch of mothers. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all saw me. Y'all had a good old chuckle. Oh, look at him. Look at this chef. He had messed all up, dropping cakes and stuff all over the place. I did that. Don't deny it. But I'm back. Look at it. Molten. Shanita, you better hush. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's good right there. Oh, yeah. That molten cake, it's on point. What are you doing? Always eating my food. Mm. That's it right there. All right, so in closing, mm. real sure that one. I appreciate y'all. That ain't me. That's why the camera's moving all over the place because she ain't. It's her. It's her hand. Look at that. Look at that female hand right there. Eating. That's all she want to do every time when she eating. So, in closing, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I finally, you know, I corrected the mistakes. I just needed to be in a little longer. Flavor is really good. I got just a couple things with the recipe. But all in all. Yeah, like cook it. <laughs> I'm going to cook your mama. See, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, mama. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, mama. All right. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, let me know. 
Um, for everybody who was on my page that tuned in, I love you all. Thank you guys. View this one. This is the end result. On my page. And on my wife's page, Stacey Brown, if you had any questions, we love y'all. We thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. Get off the handle because I ain't paying for nothing else. Say you gonna be broken. All right. Cooking with love provides food for the soul. And we are out until next time. Oh, come back tomorrow so we can finish up the bread pudding. If you didn't watch the previous video and you're wondering, what am I talking about? Watch the previous video. You'll get a great laugh. You'll get a great laugh, I'm sure. But this is the video where everything is complete. Appreciate y'all. Peace.